When deciding where we would go for our road trip, we started out with a map of our coverage area. We plotted all of the communities that we hoped to visit. Then we used that map to draw geographical circles that designated the areas we would visit for each trip. This resulted in 12 trips to cover all of our communities. Using that information, we created a shared document on our drive. This table listed each trip, the planned travel date, and had a section for staff that planned to travel. This allowed staff to strategize their participation. We always had a minimum of two staff, sometimes up to four. On average, each trip was one day of travel. We set up our schedule to travel two days per week. We started our trips the very end of July and completed all by the very end of September. We did our best to stick to our schedule as we discovered early on, postponing a trip extended the amount of time to completing this project. We used a combination of private vehicles and rentals depending on the distance we planned to travel. We tried to phone most communities before travel dates. This allowed us to schedule visits with village or town offices and rural municipality administrators. We allowed for flexibility on each of these trips as we had different situations come up. For example, in some communities, we would become aware of potential new clients we could meet immediately. Or other times, we would be referred to a community contact that would be a good connection for us. Overall, on our trip, we traveled 4,338 kilometers. We covered an area 60,419 kilometers squared. We visited 45 town or village offices and 34 rural municipality offices. We also made some great memories and bonded as a team along the way.